Greetings, everybody. In case you don't know, as always, I am King of Dragons 5000, coming at you with another episode of Dragon Talk, and I am so sorry it has taken so long to do episode 4. I have just been so fucking busy with work. And if you are not okay with me saying fuck, well then you find another fucking podcast to listen to, because I'm not obeying anything that you fucking say. Yes, it's yeah. late. But anyway, joining me is my very special guest. He's, well, ex ex classmate, I would say. Pretty much. Ex classmate, yeah. and fellow coworker for both my jobs. Which which he got me, by the way. Yes, I got this guy both his jobs. His name is Tino, aka T Dog, as I like to call him. How's it going, Tino? Pretty pretty good, man. It's a pretty chill night. Um, I feel. I'm pretty great right now. Just a little tired, I guess. A lot, a lot of people won't know this, but it is actually like three in three fifteen in the morning as we're doing this podcast, and we and just then, came. When you find time, you find time. <laughs> and we just finished our brilliant run at our night job, which I think we did a hell of a good job. Hell yeah, dude! Got up early and great. It was a good day, man. Had like, had like quite a bit of a rush when we first started, but yeah, we got in there. It like most. We got in there early, and right off the bat, it was like Sale City. Like how many? Like I was training you on the cash cash register, and how many sales do you think you made in thirty minutes? In thirty minutes. In dude, thirty like, minutes. At, at least over two thousand. Like, at least over $2,000 in sales. It was crazy. Like, it was the first time I ever worked the register. But, like, I picked it up pretty quick, dude. Thanks to you, like, I learned skills that I needed to operate a cash register. A really complicated one, by the way. It's, like, kind of ancient in a way. But... It's archaic. Yeah, man. Like, they need to update their software, dude. Their, their hardware. The whole machine software. needs to be updated. Yeah, we need new machines, dude. That's crazy, like... I don't know. I hate to interrupt your story right now, but if you hear me sniffle, I am so sorry, people. One of my co-workers actually got me sick with the sniffles. And, Rebecca, if you're ever listening to this, you got me sick. I don't care what you say, you got me sick. You were the only one besides me that handled that Hershey. And I know you touched it. I told you not to, and you went ahead and did she dude, did. Dude, I gotta stay away from her. <laughs> Wait, that's that's all we're gonna say. Yeah. That's yeah. that that's all that's all I'm gonna allow you to say for legal reasons. Oh, dude, you know, it, like the worst part, dude, when I first started working at the at my retail job. Our night um, job. Well, what the yeah, what, what the hell am I saying? They both are night jobs. True. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. Our retail yeah, like, job and our other job. That's that's what they'll be known as. <laughs> yeah. Job one and job A. <laughs> but go on with your story. I'm sorry I keep cutting you off. No, that's cool, dude. Um, The first day I started working at, at retail, dude, it was the worst. Because I went in sick, dude. Th that morning when I woke up, I woke up with a fever. And I had the runs, dude. Like, I had mad diarrhea. <laughs> It was terrible, dude. And then, like, my girlfriend came over, and she brought in, like, a bunch of medicine, dude, and she made me take all of it. And I was feeling okay enough to just get down to the store and, like, chew up and, like, try to work. And then, like, 30 minutes in, dude, like, I felt like I was about to faint. Like, I needed to rest. And, like, a manager saw me, and, like, they were like, yo, are you okay? And I'm just like, no, like, uh, I woke up with a fever today, and, like, I don't feel really good. And, like, it sucks, dude, because, like, I like making good impressions, you know? Like, especially if it's my first job. Your first day on the job, don't forget that. It was but, your first day. Yeah, I'm sorry, it, like, correct that. My first day on the job. Like, even if it's, like, like I don't know, dude, like, I just like it. And... It just happened that, you know, I got really sick and 
things just didn't go my way, man. Like, it was, uh, it was the worst, dude. Like, I felt so bad and, like, felt even worse because I had to go home because I was sick. But I don't know, dude. I'm trying to prove myself that I'm not like that, you know? Yeah, I understand. And you know what? They can, the managers can see that. Yeah, I hope so, dude, because I'm really, like, busting my ass. I rarely take breaks, dude, or even a lunch, dude. Like, I rarely do that. Welcome, to, like, welcome to my fast. world. Yeah, dude, time just goes by fast because I'm just doing what I have to do. <laughs> I said welcome to my world because of where I work, which is the electronics, which I'm okay saying that I work electronics. Yeah. I'm okay with saying that, but working the electronics, I don't get breaks that often. Especially yeah. being the night guy. Yeah, like, today was, like, hella busy, man. Like, like it, it kind of, like, didn't make sense how they just wanted you there. And then, like, but, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm, I'm just glad I got to work, like, those couple hours with you. And then, like, the, they sent me to a different section where they needed me. Yeah, because like, one like, guy was absent yeah like even at that like i didn't mind like i'm like i'm glad i really helped you out and like i'm glad that we got things done dude like selling all that merch was crazy dude like dude the, that couple was a drug dealer i don't care what you say dude like i was tripping out on how much money they had oh, they, even they had, paid like, in a... cash i know that, 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 that what, crazy, what, what was it what did they buy like eight tvs yeah, dude, it was like two like four. It was four twenty, twenty four inches, four of them, yeah. like yeah. three forty inch. inch. What else? No, was it? Like, no, it was it was two forty inches and like three or or four, like thirty two inches. And then the DVD players, the sur- the yeah. stereo systems, yeah, the was, coffee yeah. makers, the blender. And then they pay in cash? That 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 shouldn't be how it is and I actually think T Dog It's just mind blowing. It's mind blowing dude, like oh god. Um like I just saw him pull my like all, all that money, I was like, what the hell? Like who does this? Drug like, dealers. Yeah man, like Drug uh, dealers pay in cash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, dude. But I don't know. I'm not the one to judge. I mean, hey, man. We can speculate like... all we want. Yeah, we could. But like you said, like they're paying my, you know, they're paying my check. You know, they're basically paying me to do all the like all that work. So I don't mind. <laughs> Keep it coming, baby. <laughs> yeah, too bad we don't get commission. I know, dude. That sucks. Okay, that that's a lie. I kind of get commission. You can get commission? Yeah. There's like certain things that while working a register, if you sell certain things, you get commission. I know that if you sell like the like the application for like a credit card, you get a commission or something like that. It's not it's not really worth the effort. Yeah. Yeah, it just sounds like too That's like, all I'm going to tell you. It's it's not really worth the effort to like get them to sign if they want to do it by themselves okay that's that's fine yeah but me personally i'm not gonna like try forcing it because you know it, it's not much more it's yeah it's true it's it's like a dollar or two more like it's not a lot <laughs> for what it should be you know what i really hate man the the benefits the benefits of working there in retail like, what did we get? Nothing. Pretty much, dude. Just ten percent off. Fuck that. Dude. Well, certain like, certain things we get twenty percent off. Well, even so, dude. Like, at least thirty percent. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just feel like it could be more. I I I completely know what you mean. Cause like ten percent, dude. Like you're saving me taxes, like. You know what? You can look at it. We don't pay tax. Yeah. And then on food, yeah. it's a discount because they don't tax food. Yeah, that's true. But still, well, at least it's better than nothing, to be honest. To be quite honest. 
So we've we've talked about your experiences at our retail job, and how are you liking our your other job as security? Uh, yes. Yeah, or so as they guess. try to push upon us, air quote guest services. Ooh la la. Ooh, <laughs> guest services, huh? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Um, guest services, it's everything I expected, <laughs> to be quite honest. It, it's just, you just stand there and look pretty and smile. I mean, there's other and... parts that you actually do more, but for the really good ones, I mean, I pretty much help you out with that, too. Which I'm thankful for, dude. Thank you. You're like, welcome. I need to, uh, I need to check up on them, because... Oh yeah, I I know I know what you mean. So yeah, like I need the, to check up on them because certain things happen where you know like you I might you accidentally them. scheduled yourself for working both of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah I kind of screwed myself over on that. <laughs> like honestly, but, I I would have gone on one of the trips, but in the long run, the little money that they give you. For food mm-hmm. and stuff, plus the paycheck, you're probably gonna make more working the retail job. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I thought too. Like last night, cause like they asked me to do it like in the afternoon, like around two or three, and then like I did the math, and it just sounds so good to me. You know, I just thought that it would be worth it, and then I started talking to you. And I started, like, realizing all the details, and I had, I was just, like, no. Oh, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made that day. Mistakes were made. I made made a huge mistake. And, um, it just didn't seem like it was worth it. I mean, like, I just thought about it this way. In orientation, they told us it was going to be $9 an hour, plus, like, food expenses. So I, I thought it was like maybe like fifty dollars or so. And then when the one of the supervisors which told me that Was it Alex? Oh, which offered me the, the opportunity. Was it Alex? Yeah, I just didn't want to say any names. <laughs> I know I know who you're talking about. You know what's funny? What? We can say names because for some reason Yeah. Everyone who works at one job, somebody in our other job has the same name. Think about it. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. Dude, dude, that's a mind blow right there, dude. I'm like, oh my god, that's so true. We're exception. <laughs> We're exception right there, dude. God damn. I just got mind fucked. I got mind fucked. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so anyways. <laughs> Alex offered me the opportunity I'm like yeah I'll take it and I did the math really quick and it just sounded like a great idea and then I spoke with you and talked to you about it and it just after that I just didn't want to do it at all because I didn't want to be on a bus with random strangers sitting next to a guy that I don't even know you gotta get forced to know him honestly that's the only way you will survive what if I don't even like that guy dude like you're I'm stuck with him. With the people I talk to, man. I you're stuck uh, with him for. I'm not gonna lie to you. Which one were you gonna go to? The Oklahoma uh, one or? I think they're gonna send me to Dallas. Okay, that's eleven hours on a bus. Oh god. I I did both of them. That is eleven hours on the bus. That's no. <laughs> if you had done the Oklahoma one, that would be twelve hours. Jesus. Well, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm kind of glad I didn't go. Because, like, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to, like, do what I did today in retail, you know? Yeah. And, like, it, it just made me feel really good, dude. Like, it boosted up my self-esteem a lot for some reason. Or, like, I don't know. It was, it was just great. There's just something about smiling and knowing that people <laughs> are genuinely happy with the service that you provided. Yeah, dude, it just it made me feel so satisfied today, dude. Like the rest of the of my shift, I was just really like, like I was in, 
Euphoria. Peace. Peace. I was just like, I did something great today. And I'm awesome. That's exactly how I felt. I felt like I'm I'm awesome. I just I can't deny it. I'm awesome. Don't and forget like, who made know. you awesome. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Thank you for all the help. Like seriously, man. I appreciate it. It's great. Now really- let's take a little break from work and move on to something a little more serious. Yeah, I agree, man. How we I met. Just- We'll we'll get it we'll, we'll get into like the really nitty gritty stuff later, but how we met that is probably what people like hearing on how I met people. Alright, so I remember the day I was in college and Okay, we don't we don't need thing. to flashback like that, okay? Plain and simple no, 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 no. Like I remember it in very highly detailed. I was, you do? Because it's like I just remember bits and pieces of the first few weeks. Oh, dude, you don't remember, man? Like, someone had given me a really bad wedgie, dude. Oh, I, I'm sorry. And, 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 like, someone giving me, like, a really bad wedgie and it <sighs> gave me shit stains on my underwear. And then just happened to walk by and, like, smell it. And you made this really weird, odd-looking face. And you're like, huh? Huh? Was, like, I can tell, man. And you just walked by, and I was, like, so embarrassed. That Is I was that so a cat? To to you. Huh? Is that a cat? Yeah, yeah, like, he meows really loud. I, I want to punch him. Don't punch a cat. Okay, for the record, we met in acting class. Yeah, we yeah. met in acting class, okay? Prior <laughs> just... to that, we had no <laughs> interaction. Yeah, the, the whole wage story was just... I'm, I just nonsense. Nonsensical yeah. nonsense. I'm trying to improvise, okay? You're slut-shaming my name. To improvise. You're slut-shaming <laughs> my name with your poppycock. <laughs> your hug, huggle... Your hogwash, that's that's the word I'm looking for, hogwash. Whoops. Whoops. But yeah, <laughs> we actually met in acting class, which, you know, we might not like show it in our day-to-day personality, but me and you actually have a huge respect for acting. We do, man. We have a lot of respect for acting and theater and, uh, like, the arts, dude. We have a lot of respect for the arts, dude. And, like, me- the more I get to know you, the more I'm like, wow. This guy, <laughs> we have a like a lot in common, dude. Like, like just... we really respect good art, good music, good acting. Sorry, Nicholas Cage, you are not anywhere near this list. Exactly, I, he just ruined Ghost Rider for me. I, I, Ghost Rider is one of my favorite like characters, Marvel characters, and he just fucked it all up, dude. I just, I want to burn his house down or something. <laughs> Like, he just fucked it all up. Which, by the record, I'm not going to burn his house down. I just If it burns down dick. tomorrow, I know who to blame. <laughs> nah. I don't have the money to do that. You don't need much money to burn someone's house down. But I need the money to travel to his house. Find it's it, called hitchhiking. Put... Dude, I don't want to get raped. You're not going to get raped? Not with your looks. You can charge for it. Dude, <laughs> I already am a free ride, or, or a ride. Technically, it's not free because I'm going to have to give something of myself away. Man, I'm no. going to get flagged so much for this podcast. I am so <laughs> sorry to all the younger viewers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but going on, yeah. in our acting class, I remember that it was our second major project. Like, we had just finished our first, like, duet oh, scenes. Oh, we got partnered up? Yeah. The one that we were forced, and then the second one, where we actually got to pick and choose who we wanted to perform with. Yeah. I remember that instead of me getting a choice, Hector went to you first, and for your first picking. 
Actually, wasn't I the first person to pick? Yeah, you were the first one who got to, like, pick and choose. You were the the first one to do it. I don't know. It was weird how, like, because I I didn't think I was the best actor there, dude. Like, I honestly didn't. Like, I lacked the talent or or the experience or, like, the knowledge of it. But, like, I didn't think I was the best actor there. But, like, I just found it weird how, like... I, I stood out to Hector, dude. Like, I just found that really weird. Like, and, like, I when he told me to pick first, I was just like, what? <clears throat> Chris doesn't go first? By the way, Chris was, like, a really experienced actor already. He did some amazing, like, But he no-showed. Short... Yeah. He no-showed yeah, that know. day. Oh, yeah, that's why. Remember, uh, I went on by myself? Yeah, yeah, that's true, dude. What a dick. <laughs> but I don't know. He probably had something important to do. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, dude, like, yeah. No, yeah. It's probably why then. Uh, and I felt so special over here. Like, what compelled you to pick me as a partner? Was it because uh, you saw both my monologue and my duet and the range I could play? Yeah, dude, because you, you were that, like... You, you you picked roles that I wanted to try out, but I, I didn't think I was capable of doing. Now, let, let's actually backtrack to what I said, the range that I did. For my monologue, for the first time we did it, I chose, like, what was it, Speak the Speech? I, I think it was Speak the Speech. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I, that's something I did all throughout high school. Like, mm. that was our training mon- regimen for high school was speak the speech. Yeah. So, like, the second day of class, I was like, I don't want to do this. I I know it by heart, and, you know, I've done it many different ways. I, I can't improve on it. So mm-hmm. I went to Mr. Hector, and I told him, I want to change it. Let me do Stephen Son- Sondheim's Sweeney Todd. Ep- epiphany monologue that's the one I want to do yeah yeah dude it, honestly like when you when you said that I was just when you said the title of the monologue and what you were going to do like everybody in like, the room was like what he's not yeah, going like, to do that yeah dude like nobody was like it, it was it just kind of like it was like a sucker punch dude it was just surprising like not a sucker punch to the face where it hurts but like it was just like Sucker punch to the mind, dude. Like, nobody expected it. It was just like, boom, I don't know. Or, like, it was surprising, dude. And, like, when you did it, dude, like, I just, I was like, this guy. (laughs) I'm going to get along with this guy. Because I like, like, I like people who think outside the box, dude, or who want to just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, dude. Like, it was just so unique, you know? And then for the duet scene, me and Chris were, like, playing unborn like babies who were ready babies. to be born and like the second time funny, the, dude. the second funny. time we did it I, f- I found a character voice to do yeah and it made everyone crack up yeah dude <laughs> yeah dude. I, I kind of remember it was all like high pitched and why not see it was high pitched but you could understand it yeah th- th- that's what made it funny dude because we can understand what you were actually saying and it, it was just it was funny like I really like that but um, anyway, going on, we had just finished that, and Hector had said, Tino, I want you to choose your partner first. Go ahead and choose. And you you had, like, two people in mind, but you chose me, like, first. You said my name first. Yeah. Who did you think I had in mind? Was it Sam? Yeah, she was one of them. So it was between me and Sam that you wanted to work with? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, because, I don't know, like, the, the, the roles you guys did, I, I felt like I could probably, like, connect to, or, like, relate to, or, like, it just, I just feel like it would be, like, easier for me. And, like, I don't know, dude, like, I, I just thought about it, like, it, it was actually, like, a no-brainer, dude, like, when, when like, Car- oh, Carlos, when, um, Hector said that, like, okay, uh, for your next monologue, we're, I'm going to have you guys pick your own partner. And, like, as soon as he said that, before he even finished the sentence, I just started thinking about people that I wanted to work with. And then, like, the first person that came to mind was you. 
And I just looked around the, the room and I'm just like, oh, maybe Sam. I think I could do a pretty well job with Sam. But, like, I just kind of went back to you, like, right away, dude. Like, because of the monologues you did and, like, the, the things we talked about after class or before class. I was just like, this guy's cool. Like, I think I think you can get, like, on, like, on, on the same level as he is. So, like, I, I felt like, not to sound gay, but, like, I felt like there was a connection there. And like mutual respect, of, like, no homo. Yeah, yeah, no homo. Like, it, like, I just felt like there was just like something that I could embellish out of. And like, I really liked the scene that we picked, and it was just so random how we found it. Like, we just kind of read it, and like, yeah, I think we could do this. It's pretty good. It was like two. It was crazy... like a detective and his nut job friend, which I I took the, took it upon myself to give you the detective. Yeah, because I felt that you would like enjoy that role better and sure enough when we actually did it you actually you actually killed that role i felt it dude like i really really felt it and like the memory like the memories the lines i memorized like quick dude like it was just a no-brainer for me like i think that was the best monologue slash scene that i did throughout that whole semester and I'm not going to lie, I actually took inspiration from, the, what's it called? The Joker. Do you ever get to see the Batman animated series? Yeah. Mark Hamill's yeah. Joker, that's where I took the inspiration for the grins, the mannerisms. Yeah, dude, the Joker was really creepy. Like, I just felt that that would be the best choice for my character, and you know what? We were like the second, the second most liked. People liked ours the second best. Wow. Do you remember that? I, I, well, I didn't know like the rankings after like everybody ranked it, but like I'm glad to hear that. Like I'm really glad to hear that. Like I really feel like we pulled it off well because like, like it, like the characters just fit our persona. Cause, I, like as soon as I read that, I'm like, I can see you as a madman. Like I can. You you're you're meant for this role right here. Let the record like, show like, that I, I am in fact crazy and mad and all that good stuff. Yeah, like I remember you did the Mad Hatter as well. well no, not the Mad Hatter. Yeah, I did the Mad Hatter for the, yeah, the Mad Hatter for, for my semester final. Yeah, I did Chris's Mad Hatter, and I don't mean any offense to Chris, but I feel like I was a better Mad Hatter. Yeah. It was really good, dude. Like, to me personally, I felt like I did a better job because, you know, I came off, he came off as, like, crazy, but in a good way, like, crazy you could approach. I came off, like, crazy as, holy fuck, this motherfucker's, I don't know if I can either trust this guy or trust him. See, and, and that's the thing about Alice in Wonderland. When you first meet the Mad Hatter, you don't feel like it's safe to, like, be around him. Because when I first saw us and wondering, I was like, no, nah, uh, like, I'm not sitting down having tea with this guy. Like, remember He's how crazy. I sat down in the chair? Yeah. Yeah, dude, it was creepy. My head and was like, hanging that... off the the edge and my legs were where my head should have been. And yeah. then I did a flip around, over. Yeah. And, like, I really, really, really liked how every time you acted, and this is, uh... Uh, Luis Anthony Gonzalez thing. It's this thing. That's how he warms up before he acts. He just lets his hair loose. Yeah. Just lets his ponytail loose and shakes it off and... <laughs> and he does his thing, man. And like you did that. And I was just like Like everyone that's... knew when it was go time. Yeah, everyone knew when you were like, I got this shit. Like I'm gonna do this and like you just boom dude like as soon as like you took off you like you let your ponytail lose you you turn into a different person you were a completely different person you weren't like your normal Louis self like you were the person you studied read about and memorized like it was great dude I really liked your performances dude it kind of sucked that you weren't there for acting too I know I just yeah, it was more laid back, and 
like we we had we got to pick our own play to perform. Yeah, I remember and seeing was... pictures on your Facebook about that. Yeah, like I don't. Well, I kind of regret not doing it, but at the same time, I was doing my stuff for wrestling. Yeah, which I'm not gonna lie, I need to get. I seriously need to, need to get back into that. The acting or the wrestling? Both. You haven't done either, or? Uh, works just consumed everything I've been doing. I understand. <laughs> I really, really understand. I haven't had, I haven't played video games in like two weeks. Well, except for Smash Bros. Well, that's because I take it to work and I play on break, if I get a break. <laughs> but other than that, I haven't like sat down and played like video games or watched TV for like. I don't get the luxury of TV. Like I, I don't have. I don't have satellite, I don't have cable. I have Netflix, but I can't watch it because the PS3 controller's gone haywire. Eee. Like it... Just, I call just it, get one the store, dude. I, I just call it Phantom it. Controller. <laughs> like, it starts pushing pushing random buttons and... Like, it, it's just impossible to play games or watch Netflix. That sucks, dude. Now I know what to get you to, for Christmas. Get me Titanus. <laughs> get me the Power Rangers Legacy Titanus at Toys R Us. It's only two hundred dollars. Dude, I'm not gonna get you some Titanus. Titanus. Wait. No, yeah, I'll get you some Titanus. <sighs> <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Um, that's, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> It's spelled tit anus. <laughs> Am I the only one who sees this? I don't know. I, I need to take. I need to actually take a look at the picture. <laughs> like seriously, is this tit? And then there's like a Power Ranger in the middle, <laughs> and then the rest is anus. <laughs> Thank you. I will never be able to unsee that now. <laughs> Oh, dude, would you show me that? It's hilarious. Like, I, I, I'm never going to be able to unsee that now because of you. <laughs> you have ruined, Next you time. have successfully ruined my childhood. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm really sorry. I mean to. <laughs> okay, but going on, let's talk about that one moment that everyone's jaw dropped in acting class. Because I really want to get into that with you. Like that one moment that Where you got my performance made everyone's jaw drop. Yeah, dude, that was really unexpected. Nobody expected that. Not even me. Like I saw it coming, but I didn't think it was gonna be that realistic. Okay, here's what happened. Me and my partner, which if she's watching this, hello Monica. Yes, I still remember. My face still hurts. Tino's waving, but you can't see because it's a podcast. But <laughs> we were doing... Well, she knows I was waving. It's a good thing. It's a good sign, I think. But me and Monica were doing a scene about two... About a couple, and both of them were, like, cheating on one another. And it got... It, pretty... it got to the point in the argument where, like... I don't know what compelled me. Like, we never went over it in rehearsal. And this is like... And it wasn't in the script. It wasn't in the script either. Like, we were arguing, and for some reason, the day of our performance, I told her, like, ten minutes before we go on, I want you to slap the living fuck out of me. Like, I told are her... You, like, are you serious? And, like, and I like, told her, I want you really to slap me. And at first she was like really hesitant about it, and then I said, "It's okay. I made a stronger stuff than kryptonite." And True. and I kind of like saying that because kryptonite is the one thing Superman can't fight, so it's kind of stronger than him. True. I'm Batman. That's the way I'm gonna put it. I'm Batman. But Everyone's anyway, going Batman. on. <laughs> like, as our showtime. As our performance draws closer, I'm thinking to myself, did I do the right thing? Is this going to come off as cheesy? Like, is she going to hold back and it's going to look like a eh, sissy slap? 
So we're doing our lines, and it gets to the point where I drop the line. Do you remember where that line was? No, but I remember how loud the slap was. The, li the line that I gave was, you're such a selfish bitch. And, True. And the way I, I dropped it, it was like, let me get into character really fast. You're such a selfish bitch. And the moment that I dropped the word bitch, she let me have it. She really felt that bitch word, man. Like, she really felt it to heart. Well, like, I'm, I'm like... glad that, you know, it came off as real. Because mm -hmm. whatever, whatever emotion, like, that triggered in her, she let me have it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, like, she slapped the living shit out of you, like... She's, she was... literally slapped the taste out of my mouth. That was loud, dude. And, like, after she did that, everyone in the class just, like, shut up. Everyone just shut up, and, like, they were, like... Like, their jaws, like, dropped. Literally. And, like, I was just, like, kind of, like... My jaw dropped, and I just looked around, and everyone else was just, like, shocked. <laughs> like, I caught a glimpse of all the girls, like, covering their mouth, going, Oh, shit, did he just do that? Did that just yeah. happen? Yeah. Everyone, everyone's just shocked. <laughs> it was great. Like, that shows was, my dedication yeah. to my craft. It was great, dude. It was really great. I took <laughs> probably the hardest slap of my life. In acting, and Just I have, get an and I did not get an Oscar. I am Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. I am you Johnny just Depp. Got a great reaction from the audience, though. That was just great, and like, we passed. It was cool because nobody expected it. Like nobody expected it. Like I knew about it because I heard you guys talking about it because I got to class early. But whoever else showed up later than that, like. Wasn't expecting it at all. Like, even you expect... Knowing it's coming, the reaction was like, Oh, fuck, that just happened. Yeah, like, I, I, I was shocked. <laughs> it was just... Jaw-dropping. <laughs> like, you're I still speechless think thinking about it. Yeah, like, I, just thinking about it is the exact words that I can use to describe the moment. It was shocking, it was jaw-dropping, it was, in a way, somewhat exciting... And very, like... Like, I don't think any other scenes got that physical. Did no, they? dude. You like, know what? Thinking about it... Thinking about it, like... A lot of the roles I did... I took a lot of, like, bumps. Because remember the... Our, our duet scene where you picked me up by the shirt and threw me down? Oh, that's true. Like, where I was freaking out about, like... What was it? Like, let's, killing a cop? stay the hell stuff. away from her! And then you throw me down. Yeah. Yeah, and dude. then I slid like four feet on the ground. I remember that. I kind of threw you a little too hard there. I'm sorry. The, dude, <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm a I'm a soldier. I'll I'll persevere. Yeah, dude. Like that, that was like uh, that scene was like great. The one we did together, dude, it was also great. Like I really enjoyed it. And it was fun and just I felt all those emotions. In the character, dude, like, because he was, like, paranoid and scared and... And I can really make you feel like that. Yeah, you really made me feel like, like, you were going to go and kill the girl that we were talking about. <laughs> or, like, hurt her or something, because, like, I knew you were crazy. <laughs> but we did something bad together, and this is character-wise, of course, like, we did something bad together in the plot, and we were like accomplices, and I don't know, it was just, it was fun. It was really fun. Alright, we're gonna, like, move on to our next topic here, because I know you really want to, like, ask me about it. Like, you you wanted to, like, ask about it earlier before we got into the acting class. Mm hmm Want to tell me what it is that you want to talk about? It was... Something important. I'm trying to remember. Something really video game important. Like I'm looking at my yeah. Facebook and I'm looking at the trending stuff. It's on there. So want to go ahead and ask me 
if I've seen it. I was going to say, have you seen the <coughs> Wii U gameplay of the next Zelda game? Okay, this is probably going to shock you. Huh? But I have not. As of this no. podcast, I have not. No. You haven't seen it? Dude, okay, this is how my day literally went. I woke up late, like around 1 in the afternoon. Damn. Okay, then I got on the computer. Everyone, everyone had to, everyone had to go to work. Okay, I'm like home alone. Yeah, I gotta cook myself some food. And for those of you who don't know, salmon takes about an hour to prepare, if it's frozen. If it's frozen, which it is, for the most part. So it took an hour for me to unthaw it. Damn. And then to prepare it, you have to prepare it right after you unthaw it. Otherwise, it'll go bad fast. Talk about dedication. And then after that's all said and done, the time is like 2.30. It's 2.30. I, I'm like, oh, damn it. I still need to like get my stuff ready for work. I need to see if my nephew needs to get picked up from school, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. So as I'm like waking up and finishing my meal, it's like three o'clock now. I'm like, oh damn, I have to go for my nephew now. Damn. And then I have to babysit him, which I don't mind doing. I I would rather do other things, but like I said, I I don't mind doing it. Yeah. And then I have to wait for my dad to get home, which he shows up with my other nephew. Mm-hmm. So the time is like. 4.30 now. And I'm like, oh man, I need to get ready for work. I have to be out of here by 5.15. And the rest yeah. is history, because he like, needed to use a computer, and I'm like, okay. Alright, I didn't want to see anything exciting today anyway. Well, you're missing out. Yeah, I can imagine. As soon as this podcast is over, I recommend you go find... The Legend of Zelda official gameplay trailer on Wii U. Because, honestly, I know people, like, talk a lot of shit about the Wii U because of the graphics. And, like, it's not as, like, badass as the like, Xbox One or the PS4. Like, the graphics aren't all there and stuff. But, honestly, I saw the gameplay and the scenery was beautiful. I don't know what Nintendo does with the Wii or with the operating system that they use, or the graphics cards that they use, but they really use them to its full potential. I actually like, like that Sky- about Nintendo. Yeah, man, like, Skyward Sword was awesome, dude. Like, Watch, this is what, I think, was it Sakurai or Miyamoto? They, said, they probably said it the best. They do not consider the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One rival competition. Do you know why? Do you know you're there? Oh no, it cut off. Um, I'm, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Okay, it kind of like froze for a little bit and I'm sorry about that. But anyway, do you know why they don't consider them competition? too, but I don't know that like the PS3 and the X- I'm sorry, the PS4 and the Xbox One have like so much going for them. Kinda. And the quality on your mic just got lower, and that's just connection wise. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Okay, but oh, oh. the reason they said they don't consider them real competition is because Nintendo's sole purpose is to play. Video games. Whereas the Xbox One and the PS4 Mm -hmm. are meant to be entertainment systems. What are your thoughts about that that phrase? Do you agree with it? Yes, dude. I really do. Like, kids nowadays... 
like I don't consider kids nowadays who play like Call of Duty or Halo or fucking even Destiny. I don't consider them gamers, like video gamers. No, like real gamers know about Mega Man. Uh, they know about um Kitty Cars. They know about Metroid. They know about Super Mario Bros. They know about Pac Man. They know about Dig Dug, Galaga. They know about Pong, dude. Not beer pong, but pong. Like, real gamers know about all that shit. Real gamers know that the hardest game in the fucking world is the first Ninja Gaiden. Like, real gamers know that shit. Have you ever played the Super Mario Bros. 2? Yes. The real one? Yes. The Japanese one? Yes. It wasn't released in America because they thought it would be too hard and challenging for Americans to play. In a way, they, they it, in a it, in a way they were kind of right. Yeah, dude, it, it was hard as fuck. That super, the real Super Mario Bros. Two is hard as fuck. I can honestly say that. I'm not gonna lie to you. It kind of brought a tear to my eye in a good way when me and my brother made our nephews mm-hmm. play Donkey Kong Country Returns Tropical Freeze. Oh. Damn, dude, I have to play that game. I loved Donkey Kong Country when I was a kid, dude. Well, that game was one of my favorites. Well, just letting you know, my brother has a playthrough of me and him playing the whole game on his channel. If you want to check it out, I'll give you a link afterwards. I mean, you're only going to be watching it for me, of course, but, you know, he's in it, too. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, I'm sorry about that, bro. I just got you another subscriber. Be happy. Thank you. Thank you. Just came. But anyway, <laughs> I'm speaking for him. <laughs> but anyway, we challenged our nephews to play it. It brought a tear to our eye when they couldn't get past the first level because that's it great. was that challenging to them. And yeah, that's dude, what and video games need to be. And the best part about the old stuff is that there weren't any checkpoints or safe points. Well, there was like one midway through the stage, but you had to like get through half the stage. Yeah. Well, that's up, up to like the Super Nintendo and stuff. After that, that's when I started adding that stuff. The first Mario game had a save, kind of a save point. Like after you got past a certain point, it would spawn you like mid middle of the level. The first like Super Mario Bros. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, dude, you had to start the level all over again, didn't you? No, it's it saved, but you had to like get to the exact half of the level. Like it would save only if you got to the exact half of the level. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. No, yeah, you're right, dude. That's true. And that's what I enjoyed about video. I still enjoy that about classic video games. Like if I had more time. And a better computer, I'd be playing emulators all day long. That's true. Alright, so, just a quick question. What game do you think is the best game of all time? I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. And if my girlfriend's listening, she's probably going to jump up and down when I say this. But, in my opinion... Sorry, you love her. The Legend of Zelda is the best video game series ever. I agree. I completely agree with you. And I was actually going to say that. Like, I grew up playing Mario, but Legend of Zelda, I think it just has better story, better characters. Like, the first, when I first played Ocarina of Time, oh my god, that, that game, like, I, I, like, didn't know what to think. You know what the best part is? I can relive it because I have the collector's edition. No, but you know what the best part of The Legend of Zelda is? It's like the song that never ends. It just (laughs) goes on and on, my friend. Well, the most thing I find fascinating about The Legend of Zelda series is that Link, the hero of the game, Never talks. In Skyward just, Sword, like, he kind of talked. Well, like, you could see the, him, the, him gesturing like he was talking to someone, but the camera always, like, panned out. 
Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. That, but that, I, was, that like, was hilarious. Like, that was all the way up to like the Wii U. But, like even then, like, like he's still quiet. He just grunts and like yells and you know, like he he would show his emotions by the actions that he was doing. His face also had a lot of emotion behind it. Yeah, that's why I do. That's that's why I love about it. Like, you can tell like what's going on or what like what's, <laughs> what he's feeling just through his facial expressions, dude. I think he's a really great actor. <laughs> Link, the method actor of our generation. Hashtag, Link. the mouse is real. <laughs> Squeak, please, motherfucker. But yeah, dude. And like, honestly, fun fact: when I was a kid. Um, and I started playing video games. Um, honestly, video games helped me understand and they motivated me to actually start learning how to speak and read English because I was a native Spanish speaker. You're one of those people I don't like working with. But, like, listen to my English now, like... I don't know. I'm just I, saying I you were like, one of those people I don't like working with. Why not? No habla espanol. No entiendo. <laughs> Dude, I helped you out so much today just because I spoke Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm i not going to lie. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> No, but but no, I am I'm really thankful that I have have that support that I can like call to you when I really need help. Yeah, dude, me too. I, I feel useful. <laughs> but yeah, dude, like Spanish was like my first language, and like I was going through like elementary school, and I was like playing Legend of Zelda, and you know, like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. You had to read. You had to read a lot, and you had to understand what was going on by reading. Therefore, like, it just kind of motivated me to actually start reading more and learning how to say certain phrases and things like that and what they meant. And, like, I don't know, dude, it just kind of pushed me towards, like, learning a different language <laughs> just because I really, really like those games. Learn a different language. Play video games. Do Pretty it. Much. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's better than Rosetta Stone, bitch. And we just lost a sponsor. <laughs> what, but whatever, I, I'm not even sponsored by by anyone. I'm I'm an independent contractor. So who do you contract? I contract myself. Which right now I'm in legal disputes about creative identities with myself. Yeah, I can see that. I can really see that. I'll tell you... Th- the conversations that I have with myself in my head are, like, so hilarious. But, like, no one understands what what I actually go through in my head. Yeah, dude. I don't even understand what's going, ha- like, half through my head half the time. And I think that's kind of a good thing when you you have, like, those multiple dimensions of yourself that... You can separate your personal life from your work life from, like, your social life. Something a lot of people don't seem to understand is that you need to be able to separate your personal life, which is, like, friends, you know, no, no, not your friends. Your personal life involves your family, like, your relationships, your girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever. That's a separate life from your person, from your professional life, which is your jobs. Yeah. And... Little do people know that you also have to have a social life, a social personality, because without that, you can't support the other two. It's like you need all three of them to really support one another. And it starts... It's like the Triforce. Everything good comes in threes. Yeah, it's like it's just like the Triforce. The Triforce! He, T- Tino showing off his awesome tattoo, which... You know, hold, hold it right... Hold it right there for a moment. I'm actually going to bring it into view. There's there's his tattoo. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, you can you can put your arm down. Ooh. Yeah, it's not catching that. <laughs> I know. It just 
It just feels good to do that. <laughs> but going on, you need to have that separation of all three to be whole. As crazy yeah, as that sounds. I find that I, I just kind of like finding that balance. You know? I completely understand. And I know a lot yeah, of but... people listening will be, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He was just talking about acting. What does he know about anything? I know a lot more than I let on, you motherfucker who thinks you know everything. So shut the fuck up and keep listening. Yeah, you bitch. But anyway, going on, you know, <laughs> I'm only 25, but I I can actually say I've experienced a lot in my life. Like, I know a lot of people will give me flack for this, but I'm straight edge. True. And, you know, True. I don't... It it's just my choice, and I don't condemn anyone. Yeah, like when that's true. when you I know, went you to everyone else's like opinions about it, and you know, like you don't force your like not like your beliefs of being straight edge to other people. Yeah, and no, you respect other people's point like points of views, and that's the way it should be. Like, why do you want like that's why I hate religion, man. Oh, but don't get me started on that. Keep going. I I could write a book about that, but anyway, when I went to North Carolina and. You know, my girlfriend's friends heard that I was straight edge. They're all, oh, how can you... So you're going to, like, talk down to us and stuff like that. I'm all, no, I'm not like that, okay? That is the same thing that you hear about religion, and I'm not for that. You do whatever yeah. you want, and I'm okay with that. Just respect my beliefs, and I'll respect yours, and we'll get along swimmingly. And you know what? I got along swimmingly with them, so much that I didn't want to leave. Yeah, that happens, well. It's good. Like, I, I'm i saying I'm looking forward to moving up there within, like, hopefully, the next three to six months. Yeah. All right. Man, it's going to suck if you leave, dude. But we, we'd still be able to do the podcast, though, yeah. which is kind of cool. And that's what I like about Skype. You know, I can communicate with friends I haven't seen in years. I mean, I did it with my friend Munchies. I did it with my friend Blue Beetle. Justice, I see him, like, twice a month, if we're lucky. Yeah. And, you know, we did the podcast, like, live. Like, he was here with me. That's pretty cool, though. But, yeah, dude, it's gonna suck, like, after you leave and shit, like... That's why... You taught me everything I know, man. That's why I need to start training my successors in everything I do. Pretty much. I need people that I can trust in positions that I was entrusted to. Yeah, I'm like Batman. Like... That goes back to the phrase, I am Batman. I train well, I my successor, my... but I'm not really going to give up my spot, because I'm Batman. I'm Nightwing. I'm, hey. I'm the hero Gotham needs, but doesn't really deserve. But I do it anyway, because I'm fucking Batman! That's pretty good. I told you I'm Batman. That's pretty good, man. I wish I could just, like... I wish you could just repeat it again so I can hear it one more time. You're not going to because I'm Batman. Oh, oh, there it is again. <laughs> it's the Dark Knight. But yeah, I'd make a horrible Batman. You know why? Why? I have like a three-inch goatee. I have a three-inch goatee on my chin and people are automatically going to go, I know that guy. I <laughs> work with him. And and, and 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 that hair on your chin has like a specific way it grows. Yeah, and I think I'd be able to recognize it. Yeah, everyone can notice it because it's like really thin. Yeah, dude. And if I just see like a ponytail coming out behind the mask, I I'll know it's you, dude. It's not a mask. It's a cowl. It covers all of my face, except my chin, which has hair on it, which is like three inches long. That's cool. That'd be cool if, like, no, but then again, he could kind of give himself away. That's why Batman's clean-shaven. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Like, it'd be cool if, like, Batman grew a beard, but then again, like, it's not a good thing because... Hey, Bruce Wayne is Batman! Batman has the same beard as Bruce Wayne! Hey. Yeah, I'm not it's... Batman. Man, that sucks, dude. Having, like, being that buff and, like, that strong and, like... Having to... That dark. Having a suit all day. 
Yeah. And just not being able to grow a beard just because you're Batman. You're really... Let's see. There was something else I wanted to talk about, but you know what? I it slipped my mind, and I am so sorry about that. Was it Smash Bros? No, it wasn't Smash Bros. We can get into that later. Like, uh, save that for another day for like a Smash Brothers special podcast where like I just have all my friends and we talk about Smash. Yeah, actually, that that'd be pretty cool. Like there was something I I wanted to talk about, but it slipped my mind. And you know what? That's because it's like four in the morning. Cause it's nine in the afternoon. Your eyes are the size of the moon. You can't cause you care, so you do. Cause it's nine in the afternoon. And shit. Are you high? No. <laughs> you crashed hours ago. I what? You crashed hours ago. You mean an airplane? Yes. <laughs> I said I, uh-huh. there was something I like I wanted to touch on, but I, I, I think I, we can save it for another day. But how can we save it for another day if you can't remember? I'll, I'll probably like come back to me tomorrow, and then at work I'll let you know, and then from there we'll figure out what else we can do. Nice. Wait, you you work tomorrow too, right? Yeah. And Sunday? Yep. Sick. I, At least we'll... I hear your cat. Yeah, he's, he's yeah he's kind of annoying. So puncher. Tino, the cat puncher. <laughs> Beware of Louis, the king of dragons, the guy who fights for cats. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not gonna punch my cat. I'm just. I just want to punch him. Oh, fuck <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like he's he's really he's really nice. Like he's a really nice cat, and like he cuddles and purrs a lot. And sometimes he bites me when he gets excited. Yeah, cats but, do that. But yeah, like I just cats are he awesome. Just, he just meows a lot. I don't know why. Like, I think he just wants attention, but it gets annoying sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, I think this is a good stopping point, my friend, because it's getting late and we do need to sleep. Because I'm pretty sure I have stuff I need to do in the afternoon before work. Dude, I have stuff to do in the morning. (laughs) Rock on. But anyway, thank you for coming on to my podcast. I know it's late and we've talked about doing this for like two weeks now, but eh, work. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it worked, dude. I'm like, I'm glad that you had me over as a guest um i really appreciate the opportunity it was fun it was really fun we have lots more to say and i hope um you know i can be a guest on like another podcast on a future podcast no doubts and thank you for watching or listening i'm not sure if i'll put any pictures up in this podcast which i probably will but anyway thank you for watching listening to me and tino ramble if you want to go find him on twitter you can i i forgot your twitter plug i'm so sorry it's okay, it's, um... See, even you forgot it this late. Yeah, like, I can't fucking remember. But anyway, I'll, I'll, leave it, I'll leave it in the description. Go find his Twitter, go find my Twitter. I'm actually on Twitter now. Who knew, um, I, I can't remember my Twitter at, off the top of my head. And King Dragons 5000 go look for me at Dragon underscore King5000. I'm on Twitter, I post random stuff. Uh, go like my Facebook page. I I actually get into more of my work on my Facebook page. Like, have you noticed that? I, I post, like, really funny tidbits from the days of work. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But anyway, thank you for watching. And like I said, I'm sorry about the sniffles. I'll get back at my coworker for doing that to me. She will suffer in, in some parallel universe. But anyway. We'll make her pay. But anyway, thank you for listening. I am always King of Dragons 5000. Thank you again for tuning in to Talk to Dragon Talk Episode 4 with my guest Tino, a.k.a. T-Dog. So, once again, thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Later. You motherfucker! Fuck you!